Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube, YouTube family. family. All right guys, today we've got a new disaster coming. I'm nervous because I don't know what the disasters are. And look what's going on outside. It is snowing. It's a lot of snow. So I'm worried that with the fuel embargo that's going on right now, because we can't go get fuel, yeah. I've got to go check the snowblower to make sure that we have fuel for the snowblower because we might not. The last time I used it, I ran it for like an hour and a half because I snowblowed a lot of the driveways around our neighborhood here. Update on our food situation. So Jake came in and says, hey, what do you want to have for lunch? And I don't know. He's like, how about hot dogs? So we have frozen hot dogs, which are right here, right here. So we decided to get out the old rotisserie hot dog cooker. The challenge was, is we don't have buns. Yeah, but we have ketchup. So we're gonna have some chips with it. Here's the problem is we're getting low on our chip count. I don't know about you guys, but when it gets to like this level in the bag, I kind of have a, I don't know, a little quirk. I don't like eating small chips, at, at least for like these type of potato chips. I like the big ones. And so usually I like to open the bag, have the first quarter part of it, and then the rest I leave for the rest of the family because they're all the broken or smaller chips. Uh, I just like the big ones. I don't know why, but anyhow. But for the bun, we're just gonna use regular bread. This is the bread that Jake bought the other day. So good thing you bought some bread. Bomb okay. baked cookies. And guess what? So on Aubrey's, on Aubrey's channel, we did a a cooking challenge and oh, I can taste the mint and she had green cookies. Yep. We're gonna pretend like those cookies are like broccoli They're and that'll broccoli. be our vegetable. So, and of course we have soda, but we're rationing it. I'm only having one a day because I know it's gonna sure. end and when it does, if the month's not over, I'm gonna get angry, angry. I think we got enough sodas for the month. I think we do too. I think but I got enough for the some in my closet. Yeah. Well, yeah so. I might have to keep like a stash. Anyhow, Katie went with Audrey to go run some errands. Now, luckily, Audrey drove, so we don't have to use any of our fuel. We got to save some miles there because Katie's like gonna make Audrey drive around town a little bit and do some errands for us. So we picked up some miles there. We lost some the other night because we had to drive two vehicles, but two vehicles. Uh, I think we'll make it. When Katie gets back here, we're gonna show you the new disaster. What do you think it's gonna be, Jake? I don't know, but I've been charging my battery because I have a feeling one of these days, it's oh, gonna be no power. Oh yeah, it could be that. Okay, do you realize that with no power, we have no heat? Yeah. Because the furnace is ran off. I'm gonna be ice. chilling in my room with the space heater on because I got a big chunk of battery. All right, so Jake got a battery back up. We're all gonna Christmas. be in Jake's room. I think we're all gonna be hanging out with our new best friend. <laughs> All right, so it could be no power because again, with the storm that's happening out there, we could have some power issues. Yep. Okay, time to draw a new challenge. We have Audrey here, by the way. And she gets to be with us in this scenario of whatever we draw today, you have to do for the next 24 hours. One thing I learned from myself when I had to record all of my snacks and food, I snack a lot. So I made a goal of myself, no more snacks after seven. Probably should be five, but I made it seven. I'll work out. So now we need to draw a new scenario. So basically how this works is we pick an envelope. It's, I don't know, okay. do we want purple? It's the only it's purple. It's all right taking it. Dude, okay. it's probably like earthquake. Are you ready for an earthquake? Fucking the thing. The suspense is killing me. Good news, you have two ridiculous ways to escape the valley. You can travel by sea, Sea. There is no ocean near us. We don't have to. the Great Salt Lake. That's why it's ridiculous. Let's go inflate the boats. Okay. Or or make a moon landing, which does your entire group choose to go. A moon landing? Well, which way do we want to go? Uh, sea. Hey, wait. I think the sea. Sea. Wait, wait. There is conspiracy that NASA faked the whole moon landing. Maybe we can oh, fake God. our way out of here. Get no. the green screen! Okay, <laughs> the moon landing is gonna be hard because we need astronaut suits, we need to know how to survive in space. In theory. A lot deadly. Maybe cool, but deadly. With the right. sea, so, we can bring stuff and we just need to find a boat. Okay, so do we want to build an ark? Do we want to build an ark? We have to decide which way do you want to escape. I, I vote C. C? I vote either or. Ty, what do you vote? We'll see. See? See? Okay, see, see, see. see. Okay, okay. 
This is going to determine how well our family can work together as a team. Are we solo players or are we a team players? How do you, how well? I want to know, what do you rate our family as team members? Well, as long as you guys listen to me, it's a 10. But, oh, because I don't think done. you'll listen to me. Um, all I know is that when we play Minecraft, the boys like to pull pranks and sabotage the group, so yeah. I did nothing of that. I thought we were good as a family. I mean, we've done like YouTube together for so many years, so I thought we worked out all the kinks. I give us a <laughs> nine and a half. I think a five and a half? Nine and a half. I think all we're right, good. we're gonna let you be the team leader then. Okay, okay. <laughs> You've chartered a yacht with three friends, really, it's all of us, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For, uh, I guess I was left behind. For a holiday trip, but not really because we're trying to escape the valley, remember? Play along with us. <laughs> These are ridiculous scenarios. Okay, so we're going across the Atlantic Wait. Ocean. Are we bringing the dogs? Sure. sure. Okay, oh, we're bringing no. the dogs. Mm -hmm. And all of us. We're all on a boat together, even Jordan. She's not here. <laughs> okay, because none of you have previous sailing experiences, true fact. You have hired an experienced skipper and a two-person crew. Great, we got more people on board with us. No, we have to feed them. Unfortunately, <laughs> in mid-Atlantic, a fierce fire breaks out in the ship's galley, and the what? skipper and crew have been lost while trying to fight the blaze. Oh no, okay, much of the yacht is destroyed and it's slowly sinking. Your location is unclear because vital navigational and radio equipment have been damaged in the fire. Your best estimate is that you are many hundreds of miles from the nearest landfall. You and your friends have managed to save 15 items, undamaged and intact after the fire. In addition, you have salvaged a four-man rubber life craft and a box of matches. Your task is to rank the 15 items in terms of their importance for you as you wait to be rescued. Place the number one by the most important item, the number two by the second most important, and so forth until you rank Question. all 15 items. Do we know how long until we be rescued? Or is well, that when you're a lost sea, do you, do you really think you know? Like, I just have to survive till tomorrow and I'm gonna be, no, nobody knows. Wait, did they all get one paper each? We got a four person raft. There's five of us yeah, and, two, and two, dogs. two dogs. I know. And Who's we're going over? Alice's nail doesn't pop the raft. He's got sharp nails. Go ahead and write down. Mosquito netting in the middle of an ocean? Oh, sorry. And the first item, it's called a sextant, and I think it's a, um, comp it's like a tool that marks location. It's a navigational tool that gives you, uh, or measures two, the distance between two different points. Oh. So it's a navigational tool, that number one is. What does step four and five mean? So what we have is a sextant, the navigational tool, a shaving mirror, so a quantity it? of mosquito netting. Which, why would we need that? A 25 liter container of water. We're gonna need that. A case of rations, maps of the Atlantic Ocean, a floating seat cushion, a 10 liter can of oil patrol mixture, a small transistor radio, 20 square feet of opaque plastic sheeting. Wait, I did this this year. A can of, <laughs> we'll see how long well you do this. I don't remember it. We have a can of shark repellent, one ball of 160 proof rum, Six, 15 feet of nylon rope, two boxes of chocolate, and an ocean fishing kit and pole. Okay, everybody's gonna rig it, and we're gonna come back and figure this out as a team. All right, so I think I've got the perfect scenario. Like I said before, if everybody listens to me, we will survive. So I went with first, I need tools to be able to get a uh, signal or some sort of awareness to other people. So I put the shaving kit mirror really high on my list because you can signal airplanes with that. And then I focus mainly on survival. Food, water, because if we don't have that, it's not gonna last long out there. Okay, so from what I can remember from when I last did this, this is basically how I'm doing it. So I remember that like the seat cushion was probably one of the top ones and with the plastic, but one of the lower ones was like the chocolate and shark repellent. I'm going off memory. First thing on my packing list is of course to bring the 25 liters of water. Duh, I mean we're surrounded by water, but not drinkable water. Second of all, we're gonna need some food, and I chose the army rations. Lastly, the three things I don't think we need at all is the two boxes of chocolate bars. If we bring that aboard, it's gonna get eaten up so fast. Next up, I don't think we need the sextant. I'm picturing it in the middle of the ocean without anything nearby, so I don't think we're gonna be even using that. It's just a waste of space. And lastly, the maps of the Atlantic Ocean. Also, like, 
it's just oh shit, nothing there, so. Okay, so we all came up with our individual, what we would do. Now we need to come up as a collective, as a group. We need to work together and convince each other why we should take, what items we should take, and we have to sort these as a group, what items are going first. All right, listen to me, I've got number one. We're bringing the water. Does everybody agree with yeah, the water is number yeah. one? Water. I'm actually, number one. I didn't put that number one on my list, but I do think water is actually smart. So are we- Number one. Water? Yeah. Water is one. What would you have okay. said, Jake? I put for my number one the 20 feet of OPEC plastic sheeting. The water could give you, like, immediately, like, you'd have water. Wait, why the so plastic sheeting? The plastic sheeting, sheeting is important because it can collect rainwater, but I think if we bring the fresh water first and then a collecting as a, as yeah. a water one, are you okay with doing the water yeah. first? Okay, for number two, what do we think? I said the food rations. Oh, I ain't getting hangry on I this said, boat. You don't, you don't eat like food right away. I, I ain't getting, getting hangry on this boat. Okay, you can go 30 days without food. So Maybe I put you number can. two. <laughs> <laughs> number two is a shaving mirror because if we can signal off the bat, we want to be able to start getting attention drawn to it. So I, I put that. I think the mirror as well for the reason that. I didn't even think about the signaling, but you can use it to help make water. No, I think you can use it to make water somehow, can't you? A mirror? So. Maybe speed up the condensation? No. It doesn't? I don't think so. Rip. No, if you want to evaporate your water. Let's go with David's idea of condensation. I mean, you can start a fire. But then, would like plastic be more important? Plastic would be more important because who's going to see you? Nobody's around. We need water, dude. But I have water. You can only go three days without water. Do the plastic. Three days. Okay, so plastic that means number, number two or three. I said radio for number two. You said radio? Why a radio? Who are we going to contact in the middle of the ocean? You can't contact. I, if you get anywhere like near them, maybe you can, but like... Exactly, or a plane. Yeah. Then you can contact them. Okay, so but all those like... for plastic, raise your hand. Me. Okay, plastic. plastic. Three, three against two. Plastic is number plastic, two. Plastic, so we have water, plastic. Okay, okay, so the now... The next one that's come up is the radio. Do we want to have radio for number three? We have radio or yeah. we have the shaving mirror. Um... I'm mirror. Or Audrey's hangry food. <laughs> we go seven I, days. We go seven chocolate days. Chocolate bars. We go 30 days. You'll get over it. We'll kick you overboard. Oh, well, that's 30. <laughs> we'll be really angry. Okay, Mary. Oil. I say oil. Why? I say Why oil. What are we going to do? Oil? Oil? I say radio. I said, I said. Wait, what if we get in contact with a cruise line? Yeah, we can just the jump on a cruise ship the and eat yeah, all the food. I think it's mirror. Radio, radio. I want the mirror. Okay, so radio is two. Or no, sorry, radio is how many? Yeah, but you want it? Another one. Two for radio. Mirror. Two for mirror. What are you going to do? You get the radio. Yeah, I got mirror. That's better than radio. Mirror's three. Me and Ty are going in our own raft. So then do we say the radio is number four? No, raft after that. Do we need to give him a radio? Yeah, let's give him a radio. Let's just throw that radio in. Food and then the radio. Number four. Food? You can go 30 days without food. Okay. Do you three seconds without radio without food. Three minutes without shelter or three hours without shelter. I'm going to start seeing things on this raft if I go 30 days without food. Wait, is it three minutes without it? All right, let's 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 think about it here. Three minutes without shelter. We're not starving yet, so let's bring the radio then the food. How's that? Three days without water, 30 days without food. How about that? Radio, then food. You can over here do that? Radio and food. Can Hangry Girl make it? Can you make it one more step? <laughs> okay. Right. So radio is four. Okay, we're going to go radio to the four. Which okay. is much higher than what I put. It, it is higher than I put. Then rations. Then rations. Yeah, rations. I feel like the next step of that. I had that actually as four. I had that as three. Okay. okay. Oh, so why is the rations so high? high? Don't you think that was number two? But why? If, we, if you have your fishing, can't we catch our own fish and that would also provide water? Raw fish. It's in the fish. You're eating the raw Yeah, so should we get a fishing kit and pole up in there? Okay, so listen. I'm thinking long term. The two that have come up now is the fishing kit and the, what was the other one? What are you going to use as bait on? As the rope. You. Fishing you. kit or rope? <laughs> Fishing kit or Fine, rope. let's take our rations and then the fishing kit. No, that's good. Why would we need rope? What are we got? We can build a bigger raft, we can collect No, it's to, make, it's to make fire with our mirror. You ain't gonna be making fire on our raft? We're on an inflatable Girl, raft. I'm tossing you over. Yeah, <laughs> what? Good tribute. <laughs> Alright, so it we sounds like. Rations. The dogs are hangry, they need their food. The dogs are hangry? You the don't think hangry. these dogs are gonna be hangry? Alright, fishing pole's next. Six. No. Fishing pole? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> We're all going on our own raft. Ty, what would you have said? Mostly anything else. <laughs> Pretty much 
Okay. The other one that's come up is the rope, and then I also proposed the floating cushion. Why the floating cushion? Because if our raft pops, we're sinking to the bottom. It's a cushion. It's a cushion. It floats. He's trying to sink himself. Don't let him have the cushion. The cushion is like the last thing on my list. We're all gonna just sink. I got the cushion. Shark, you, your fishing pole's not gonna hold it. Exactly, why don't we use shark repellent? In case the shark What is shark repellent? Yeah, what what is, if a big it. shark comes after us, we Well, what is shark away. repellent gonna do? What is We shark have shark repellent. repellent. It's Logan and Atlas. No, we need shark repellent. Or rum. <laughs> rum, because it's a cleaning yeah, agent. If rum. you get cut. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Rum. 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 The ring of sugar and tea. Rum. And then I feel like we really do need shark because have you not seen, watched those movies where people are scared no. of sharks? No! Shark repellent should be at the I said mosquito netting. We need what about the shelter, oil? Shelter from the sun. Oil. Shelter oil. from the sun. That's the sign of shade. Sun goes right through the mosquito netting. Yeah, it that's provides some shade and rain protection. Yeah. It's gonna run out of batteries. Oh, oh, I'm voting for shark repellent. Oil! Oil! Oh. It's for the fire! Oh, 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 Listen, Stop everybody. Look at me. We can't. Oil! I think the rope should go next. Oh. Oil! What do, you, uh, what do we have? Yeah. I don't know. Oil! Over. For the fire. Oil. It's oil. Kay. Put it well, down, I guys. guess we have to do oil because there's two versus us. Oil, oil. Up oil. oil All right, here's our completed list from one so. through 15. We had a lot of fighting over this. I think we left on, on shark island <laughs> or rub or oil. Yeah, Wait. everyone is debating about Jake and mine oil choices. Why do you want the oil? It's so for bad. fire. Oil, oil. What are you going to make? You're going to start We're gonna oil the oil. We're going to have fish that we get from the sea. And you don't even have any way of starting a fire. Yeah. Yeah, the mirror. Oh, yeah. Oh. The time. Have you ever used a magnifying glass? And you're going to do that on a rubber <laughs> rat We have a lot of time. Oh, yeah. The mirror is not a magnifying glass. You're not worried about burning down our raft? It's rubber. It's fine. If we hit one person goes down, we all go down. If you spill that oil on the boat, we're all going up in flames. <laughs> well, it's on the board. Then we have a uh. rope. I don't know why. Yeah. We had to compromise because we couldn't get past it. So we're <laughs> we have shark repel, which we learned yeah. makes a loud noise, which is good because it can warn other boats nearby that we're over here. No, it's good because it can scare the sharks when they're coming to eat you and circling you. you're covered in oil and you're basically yeah. in the sun. I so know. you're smelling really good. <sighs> then we have mosquito netting for protection against dad's bald head in the sun. That's why he wanted it. Bad. He wanted that one so bad. bad. And I think that one's so not Then we have... And then we have the sextant because eh, we don't really care Because we don't know it. how to use the tool, but we're going to um, make our way back to land. Then we have... on fire and use it for signaling. <laughs> we don't even know where we're going. Then we have the seat cushion. I don't like, know why what? you need that. Yeah, other than you comfy chocolate. seat. Someone can escape. Right. It's comfy. a comfy seat. And you get a comfy seat or a comfy headrest. <laughs> And chocolate bars and the map, which we're gonna burn. Uh, this will be a coloring book for us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. okay. Jake, will you read out what the Coast Guard says we should have done? Yeah. Okay, the sextant is 15. Useless without the relevant tables and a chronometer. A shaving mirror is number one. <gasps> one? I had two. I had it as two. It as number one was the shaving mirror. I knew that was important. I Three. Of all the items, the mirror is abso absolutely critical. It is the most powerful tool you have for communicating your presence in sunlight. A simple mirror can generate five to seven million ca candle power of light. The reflected sunbeam can even be seen beyond the horizon. So we put plastic sheet above it and water. <laughs> you probably don't want to look at the mirror actually. Look at yourself in the mirror. True. <laughs> a quantity of mosquito netting is 14. Oh. Um, David, how are you feeling about that? Uh, hey, we were 11. Mosquito netting there? There are no mosquitoes in the middle of the yeah, Atlantic exactly. Ocean. Yeah, exactly. I was using it for shade. For anything else. And it's, no uses for anything else. Hey, it's not 15. You can't catch fish with it. You can't use it for shade. 25, oh wait, a 25 liter container of water is number three. Three? Wow. Oh, it's okay. number two. Um, we'll to vital to restore fluids lost through 
precipitation, 25 liters will supply wa water rations for your group for several days. Like, several days? That means you get like half a water, half a bottle of water per person to survive per day. The case Ugh. of army rations is number four. So the hanger is number four, not okay. five. What was number four? Rations. Like, rations. rations? It's, oh, this is your three. basic food intake. Food? Who would have thought food was that needed? <laughs> Maps of the Atlantic Ocean. 13. Worthless okay. without navigation well, equipment. That's what I put on my chart was yeah. 13. It's worthless if you don't know where you are. A no. floating seat cushion is number 9. What? Yeah. For why? Useful as a life preserver if someone fell overboard. And comfort. A 10 liter can of oil slash gasoline mixture is number 2. 2? <laughs> The second most critical critical item for signaling. The mixture will <gasps> float on water and can even be ignited using the matches. You guys do not even know. Matches. We have matches. Oh yeah, we do have matches. That's what it says at the beginning of the oh, story. Oh, we have matches. Oh, matches. I would have put that number one then. If no, I you knew. would not. I would. I knew we had matches. You would have burned our boat down. I would still not. Guess going. what? Transistor radio is number twelve. Twelve? Why put that as seven? You would be out of range of any radio station. We put that, that as. You're in the middle four. of the Atlantic Ocean. Where is a radio station? <laughs> to other boats that have radios. Guess that's not what they're saying. This is a transistor radio, not a two-way radio. Yeah, we're doing yeah. this. Walk -talk. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I'm just gonna jump off now. Wait, 20 square feet of OPEC plastic sheeting is number five. Five, we put the plastic sheet as two. Can be used to collect rainwater and shelter from the winds and waves. A can of shark repellent, <gasps> number 10. To wow. repel sharks, of it course. It is 10? I yep. forgot another one. Wow, we nailed that That's 10 one. across all my board, like my personal oh. and ours. And... See, we need shark repellent, y'all. I argued it so much. Well, not part of the other <laughs> stuff. One bottle of... I thought that the shark repellent would be really important. I guess I was wrong. 160% proof rub. Contains 80% alcohol, which means it can be used as an thick for any injury. We knew that. Are you reading this? We knew that. Otherwise, what? um, of lit, uh, What's its ranking? It's What's 11. What's the number? Oh, 11. It's 11? 11. Nice. Nice. Very dangerous if drunk as it would cause the body to dehydrate. The opposite of what you want. Of or what a shark's going to gonna come and kill you all. You're going to jump off the because you're drunk and then I need to throw the cushion at you. And we're close <laughs> okay. to this next one. 15 feet of nine line rope is number eight. What? Rope is important? Yeah. Could be huh. used to Could lash people or equipment together to prevent being lash washed. Lash people? Latch them together. Latch. Why are we latching people? Or equipment together. <laughs> when or the equipment. seas are angry, you're going to be Caesar's falling over. Let me finish. In case there are waves. Okay, go Which ahead, there Jake. Will be. Okay. Watching people and equipment. Two boxes of chocolate bars. Six. Mm -hmm. Six? It's number six. I did not I put that played six. that for sure. I put that at seven. Right. Wow. Reserve. Food supply. And it's two boxes. Is it, the water way more important than food? Well, then that leaves water is higher food. than it. It's water's in a receipt. Chocolate bars? Are you kidding me? An ocean fishing kit with a pole is number seven. Rank lower than the chocolate, as there is no guarantee you will catch any fish. The pole, the pole might be used as a tent pole. Oh, for your plastic sheet here. Yeah. Fishing pole. All right. Well, we got some right and some more I knew off. the chocolate. Okay. So now we're gonna tally up our scores and figure out how well we did. And this is gonna be interesting because this was actually complicated to get us all to agree. <laughs> okay. So we have a team score of 48. Is that good? So let's find <laughs> out. 48 is fair. You are right. dehydrated and barely alive. It was tough, but you're rescued. Oh, oh we made it! We survived! Let's go! Yeah. Wait, but we wouldn't be dehydrated. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh -oh, now, if we were on our own rafts, this is what would happen. So, Audrey as well would have survived if she was by herself. I have the same score as the team score, which is yeah. so weird. And David would have survived by himself. I knew it! <laughs> Jake and I. Poor, rescued, but only just in time. We're pretty much late Barely. in the I'm still oh, alive. Ty. Also, still alive. <laughs> okay, Ty, very poor. Oh dear. Your empty raft is wash washed up on a beach weeks after the search was called off. Oh no! <laughs> empty raft. 
Did you? I didn't make it. Well, Ty is not making our packing list. <laughs> all right, note to self, let's make sure we help Ty next time. Yeah. Just a little bit more so that we can all make it together. We could try a moon landing if we wanted to. All right, you guys, comment down below. Would you like to see a video of us going to the moon and landing on the moon? Do you think we'd make it? Hashtag yes or hashtag no. How would we work better together as a family? Because this is the key. We need to work better together. Well, I mean, overall in this video, we all fared better together than we did individually. That's true. Except for us. That's true. Except for you. Over well, I here. like, well, I tied. All right, you're our navigator. Yeah. That's I am why. the navigator. You are the navigator. Okay. All right, you guys, as you can see, we're actually not too bad as a team. We could get better. What was the top score? Like if you the top you could have got is a zero to twenty five that would have been excellent and you would have demonstrated great survival skills and been rescued easily. So. All right, so we got to invite Katie's to. brother because I think he would probably be closer to the zero and he's, he would carry the rest he's of us. He's my survival <laughs> All right, but we are getting better. We did survive this. Hey, we've survived the first two challenges as well, right? We still got fuel. We're still rationing it, but we're still making it. We did have to take two vehicles last night to an activity, which actually used more fuel than we anticipated. But I think we're still on track. We might just make it. Now, the check engine lights might be on, but we might just make it. And when it comes to the food, I think we're gonna get better at rationing. We're gonna get better at, well, we're gonna probably have to because vegetables are gonna run out tomorrow. <laughs> Scenarios are gonna hit in the next several. I have a bad feeling that one of the scenarios coming up is gonna be no power. Alrighty, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!